Tagatula is one of the oldest commercial farms, originally established in 1999, but had a lot of great reputation for the first 10 or 12 years. Then it started actually going down and I think the previous owners uh, ran out of financial troubles and they just want to, you know, try to sell it. Um, in the process for the last two, three years, so it was somewhat neglected as well. So I saw a lot of potential as well in terms of what we can do with it. Uh, we jumped in uh, seven years ago, and the rest is history. And pretty much uh, 480 hectares. We had to stamp it, build it up from the ground. But it has all of the key components of a unique speciality farm should be. I have all of the infrastructure, the proximity to, to add this. But on the other side, it's also located in Kaffa. Uh, the birthplace of coffee as well. Um, it was uh, surrounded by UNESCO uh, protected forests, beautiful landscapes, it has a component that is very hilly, it has a component that is very flat. We're surrounded by beautiful mountains. You know, from the get-go, we're surrounded by pristine and nice water. So we knew that we can actually create a washing station in multiple areas. We can divide it into multiple blocks. Um, then we can create, you know, traceability at the block level. So there's a lot of components that we can actually do it as well. If we just invest a little bit more on Tagatula, we can just make it one of the most beautiful and well-known farms uh, in Africa. Part of it is also we have all the infrastructure, but part of it is also how do we make sure that we have operational excellence at the farm as well? How do we make sure that we have block label traceability? With that, what comes in is each block is separately picked, separately processed, separately bagged, separately cleaned, and separately exported as well. And each farm manager, each, each block have its own agronomist that actually oversee it as well. One of it is also we need to make sure the farm is managed well, but on top of it as well, it needs to be complemented in terms of what kind of technologies are we using, what kind of uh, eco-friendly uh, washing stations and what kind of drying mills are we actually using. That is all part of the component as well. What kind of quality assurance process that we have. We know exactly when a specific bean is planted. We know when it was picked, when it was processed. So we have each step is, is measured and we can actually avail to our farmers as well a block level traceability. So that is part of running it. But part of running a good farm is also making sure taking care of the workers and taking care of the community. In the farming world, everybody talks about a fair trade that talks about just the trade aspect of it as well. But in our case, we're actually extending it and we're calling it a fair chain. So we make sure everybody in our chain is taken care of well. It's not only a poverty rate, it's also a livable wage. We try to pay 20% higher from the market rate for our pickers, our workers as well. So everybody stays behind. We have a great retention in here as well. And everybody actually can have a life by working at Tagatula or in our business as well and can also prosper. That's at the farm gate. Moving that along, we also need to make sure that we take care of our community. So 5% of our revenue is automatically invested in community projects. What we do is every year we take a specific project. So we build roads, for instance, Tagantula, uh, two, two farms that separated five kilometers apart. We connected that road, we, have, we tarmacked it. So without that road, it would be very difficult. Ambulance can actually move back and forth. So we actually build roads, um, eight kilometer roads. That was a project that we took uh, when we started. Last year, we actually built a nice kindergarten for grade one to grade eight that actually uh, educate 86 children. We have electrified the Tula village to Tega village. So that's actually a big uh, lift up. And we're also now working on an, a clean water project as well. So the people in the community can actually pump in a clean water, um, drinkable water as well. So these are some of the projects that we do. Every year we take one project and we actually discuss with the community and we can actually build it as well because without a community, um, you can't have a farm. I always said uh, a farm of 500 hectares, there's no borders. I mean, people cross to our farms, the community cross to our farms as well. So it's, ex it's very critical that you take care of the community so the community can take care of you.